In this video we will have a look at the weather hat from Pimeroni. The weather hat from Pimeroni is, as they say at Pimeroni, a meteorologically minded Raspberry Pi hat. It comes in a small plastic bag with an even smaller plastic bag containing some screws and standoffs. It looks as if there are hardly any components on the playfully designed board, except for a display and a bunch of connectors. But that is a false impression. It is just that the parts that are mounted on it are really tiny. Don't get me wrong, it's not overpopulated either, but there is a microcontroller on it, an ML51XB9AE from Nouveauton. There are also two sensors. The popular BME280 measures relative humidity, barometric pressure and temperature, while an LTR559 detects ambient light intensity. Note that this sensor can also function as a proximity detector. Placed around the display are four small push buttons labeled A, B, X and Y, as found on other display heads from Pimeroni. Similarly, on the bottom side we find the Pimeroni style I2C extension connector. A slightly staggered header footprint exposes four analog inputs. Next to the display is a large double RG11 socket. These are intended for one of those weather sensor assemblies that you can find online. They consist of a wind speed and wind direction sensor and a bucket rain sensor and they are wired up using RG11 jacks. The weather head plugs onto any Raspberry Pi equipped with the 40 pin extension pin header. I use the Raspberry Pi 02W. When plugging it on a full size Raspberry Pi, make sure to use the included standoffs to avoid conflicts between the head's I2C connector and the Pi's display connector. After assembling the hardware, it is time to install the software. Pimeroni has provided the Python 3 libraries for this at GitHub. Instructions on how to install the libraries can be found at the Pimeroni website. I used SSH to install everything and then ran the weather.py example. This all worked fine and the display showed rain, atmospheric pressure and temperature values. Rain was at zero, which was good as I was doing this inside. The temperature, although not a ridiculous value, should be taken with a grain of salt, as the Raspberry Pi Zero produces quite some heat and heats up the head's temperature sensor. Pressing the A button repeatedly brings up different screens for wind, rain and light data. The X button cycles through screens for temperature, air pressure and humidity, data captured by the BME280 sensor. Most of the screens have colorful history graphs too. The wind speed and direction display is my favorite, with the light intensity runner up. The display, a 1.54 inch 240 by 240 pixel IPS LCD, looks pretty nice and has good colors. The weather sensor kit consists of three plastic sensor assemblies the wind speed cup anemometer, wind direction vane, and rain. Two plastic mounts, two 20mm diameter thin metal. I suppose chrome tubes and some fixing materials. Putting everything together is easy enough as most parts can be mounted in only one way. The wind sensors are mounted on a plastic beam like support which in turn is fixed on the end of one of the two metal tubes, the one that has holes in it. The rain sensor mounts on a plastic arm that you clamp to the tube. Even though everything is secured with nuts and bolts and screws, the complete assembly remains a bit wiggly. The second metal tube slides into the first, but is not secured by anything. I wouldn't trust it in a storm. The cable of the wind speed sensor connects to the bottom of the wind direction sensor, so only two cables run down the mast. I recommend to clearly label them, because the weather head is picky about which sensor connects to which socket, and once it is mounted on a pole, it is hard to see. The weather sensor assembly can be attached to a pole or other support with the two gear clamps and the four long tie wraps included in the kit. Even though the parts are all nicely made and fit together perfectly, the assembled weather sensor doesn't inspire much confidence. I guess only time can tell how long it will survive out in the wild. I think running the cables through a plastic conduit to protect them against the sun might be a good idea. So, the weather hat plus weather sensor assembly is a nice educational or experimental weather observation system that works fine with a minimum of effort. 
I recommend using a Raspberry Pi 02W with Wi-Fi so you can put the board outside, close to the sensors, in a waterproof enclosure, partly transparent because of the light sensor and the display.